What is up, everybody? It's time for some Omnath Party Bears. Happy birthday to these bears. They're they're getting so rowdy. They're drinking uh, Omnath Green Mana, and they're going to give our opponent a bunch of presents and a bunch of cake. <laughs> Who are we up against? <laughs> Ephra, God of Polis. Okay, yeah, we're, we've got some Omnath Party Bears right here. Opening hand, we've got Forest Forest, Runeclaw Bear, Lightning Greaves for the Bear, River Bear. Oh, yeah. Are we, is that our opponent playing Islands? <laughs> yeah, we're going to keep. This is Omnath Party Bears. Yeah, this is Bear Tribal. Omnath is the commander because uh, looking to gain a little bit of an edge by building up a bunch of green mana. That's, that's the only reason to have him in there. I'm trying not to go for. I'll try not to go for a combat damage win with Omnath. I know sometimes you can generate a lot of mana and swing in, but that is not our game plan. Our game plan is bears. That is, uh, if you if you're new to the deck, this is what our game plan is. So let's get down to forest and then pass the turn. Also, on a side note, guys, if you want your very own cake and presents, just like Omnath Party Bears, head over to mtgotraders.com. That's where Omnath gets all of his personalized cakes made for our opponent. Yeah, we're getting a cake made for her right now, and we're about to have all of our bears bring it over to him. So, he's excited. We're excited, too. <laughs> so, let's get down uh, Let's get down forest, and let's get down lightning greaves, because I would definitely want to protect Omnath, and then I'll cover what our opponent's commander does here in just a second. So... God of the Polis, uh, as long as your Devotion to White, oh yeah, Devotion 7, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you had another creature enter the battlefield under your control last turn, draw a card. Yep, pretty straightforward. Usually most of these uh, Ephra be uh, decks are pretty controlly, so uh, you know I enjoy playing against it. You know, I enjoy playing against a fun little control deck. So since he, well he's got one one blue mana up, and uh, yeah, we're, 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 we'll jam an Omnath, Omnath right now. Stick that lightning greaves on there. There we go. Pass the turn. I like making sure Omnath's safe. He feels so good wearing those little boots, and the bears make him really happy. Now, as far as the bear plan, what we got going on? So we've got River Bear, which, if you notice, that's an island. And if you look down here, River Bear has Island Walk. So this little this little bear man, he's putting in some work. So we're gonna get down River Bear, and uh, we may even get some Alpha status on River Bear, because. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay, sorry, man. I just I, the River Bear is, as a card in general just makes me laugh, and uh, <laughs> and our opponents just like, oh man, I'm playing islands, and there's an island walk over there. Oh no, what are we gonna do? <laughs> okay. All right, so our game plan right now is we got River Bear, so we have our win condition against our the pesky blue mage, the silly him from playing islands. You know, people get mad about uh, uh, <laughs> Blood Moon. People get mad about Boil. Uh, blue control players get so mad about River Bear. They're like, well, you know, why am I being punished for playing islands? So that's what they think when they see River Bear. But our game plan right now is to build up a little bit more mana with Omnath, and we're going to get down Alpha status. And with Alpha status, it'll get... Since it's a bear, oh man, he said, "No, -uh, I ain't having." To <laughs> he said, "We can't take the river bear today." Uh, uh, not on my watch. I'm not getting island walked by a river bear. <laughs> I just, I love river bear so much, and then whenever he's into my opening hand, I just, I feel really good. So we're gonna, we're gonna redo. Let's get on that down again. We'll Put those lightning greaves on there, protect him one more time, and then pass the turn. Now, he might have another board wipe. So, all right, now that River Bear has been squished before you got a chance to swim in the river, we're going to get some Rune Claw Bear action. He's the next bear up in the line. Once again, we can get down Alpha status on River Bear. I mean, Rune, bear, Rune Claw Bear. But we do have Words of Wilding. So, Words of Wilding is actually not that bad of a card. So, we get this enchantment down. Next time we would draw a card, we can get uh, some bear tokens action. So, we can actually... Ooh, look at that alpine grizzly. Okay, so let's go. What are we going to do? I want to... Let's see if we can't stick a word of wilding. Because we can get into some harmonized shenanigans to where we can pay that replacement effect like three times. <laughs> and I think our opponent's like very slowly just now figuring out that this is a bear deck. And so, yeah, there we go. All right, let's get down some runeclaw. Runeclaw bear. And we'll tap one more green, add to our mana pool. With Omnath, uh, yeah, I didn't cover that earlier. With Omnath, uh, green mana does not empty from our mana pool. Well, if Omnath gets killed, it does. But uh, green mana doesn't empty from our mana pool, and we get to save it up, and he gets plus one for each uh, green mana in our mana pool. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Right, he's going to have to reveal that bad boy. Better not be another board wipe. 
We have the right to bear revoke existence. What do we got going on here? Exile target artifact or enchantment. Okay. Okay, so we've got one mana and we've got seven. So we can actually pay the replacement cost on Words of Wilding uh, three times and cast Harmonize to get three bears out. Those will really pump up our alpha status. I like that. But he did, with Personal Tutor, he did search up uh, Revoke Existence. So Exile Target, uh, Artifact, or Enchantment. But let's see, he might be going for it right now, main phase. Well, it is a sorcery, so yeah, you have to go for it, main phase. Sometimes I, uh, I give some Ron Burgundy. Oh, he's going for Lightning Grease. All right, man. That's fun. Omnath is sitting there afraid and alone. No swift foot boots. Omnath is definitely one of those commanders where you feel like really good if you've got some protection on him. Okay. So, draw into Grizzly Fate. Now, what we can do is... We can try and harmonize and cash that in for a bunch of bears. But he might have a counter spell. He's only got two cards in hand, and I feel like he probably would have countered Birds of Wilding, possibly. We're going to go for it. So what, this is a replacement effect, so we're going to do it three times. <laughs> Harmonize! <laughs> Harmonize, draw three, no, uh, put three bears onto the battlefield. <laughs> That's what Harmonize means. Okay, so now we've got four bears. And then next turn, we're going to get into some... Uh, we can get down Alpine Grizzly, and we can also get down Alpha Status. So, what we're probably going to go for is probably go for Rune Claw Bear. But look how cool this bear token is, man! That's that bear is real ferocious looking. He's got uh, you know some dental work that needs to be done, but other than that, a really cool bear. Oh, we got some Gideon coming in. So, what did did he just plus? Yeah, he plus Gideon. And that is... Okay. So, we've got six mana. Let's go... I've, he's only got one card in hand. So, um, I think what I want to do is... Let's get down some alpha status on Runeclaw Bear. That's the best bear right there. Yeah, look at all that. We've got an 8-8 eight, eight <laughs> Runeclaw Bear over there. And let's get down some uh, Alpine Grizzly. And I think we have to attack Gideon. I think that was correct. During next during target opponent's next turn, creatures that player's control attack Gideon if able. Okay, there we go. We got a 10 10 <laughs> Rune Claw Bear coming in hot at a Gideon. Yeah, I like that, man. <laughs> oh no, we, <laughs> we get it condemned. Rune Claw Bear got condemned at the bottom of the library. Mark that under things our opponent didn't think he was going to do. <laughs> There's just sometimes in Magic where, like, if you were to take some, like, commander bets before the game. All right, now, will you be uh, condemning a... <clears throat> will you be condemning a Runeclaw Bear to the bottom of your opponent's library? And be like, but it's like 10 to 1 odds. Be like, oh, man, I'll take that for sure. <laughs> nope. Okay. Gauntlet of Power. He's got one card in hand. We're, we're going to stick this bad boy. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna cho yeah, he's got auto yield on, so I like that. Um, let's go. We can still get in. Well, let's wait. Let's, we got to swing in. Coming in at Gideon. <laughs> okay, so we take out Gideon by Gideon. Happy birthday, Gideon. Hope you have a good time in the graveyard. And then we're going to pay two and get down Changeling. Now, I do run a few Changelings in here just because they are bears. And to be honest, there's not that many bears in the deck. Uh, or in Magic's history. There's there's a very... <laughs> Our opponent scoops. I'm going to go ahead and post this because that was some jam-packed bear action right there. <laughs> okay, so as far as combat damage, we had 3, 6, 9, <laughs> 12... 
<laughs> 17. We had 17 coming across. Our opponent cannot handle the happy birthday that the Bears are about to sing. So I'm gonna go. I'll probably post this in addition to another video because the bear bear action was pretty on point. All right, guys. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. <laughs>